Welcome back to the Sports Mag Zone. Shortly after news broke on Wednesday that former West Indies star Marlon Samuels was charged with breaching four counts of the ICC's anti corruption code, the West Indies Players Association WIPA issued this statement. It said, it read in part, we have further conducted joint seminars with CWI and have partnered with the Federation of International Cricketers Association to have such information accessible at any time via an online platform. WIPA said it will continue to educate cricketers about pertinent issues that contribute to their personal and professional development and help to safeguard the sustainability and integrity of the sport. Well, joining us now to discuss the extent of WIPA's program to help players avoid potentially damaging scenarios off the field is the president and the CEO of WEPA, the ex Windies opener, Wavell Hines. Wavell, welcome back to the Sports Mag Zone, sir. All right, thank you, sir, George. Good evening to you and your audience. Good, good, good. Uh, the obvious first place to start, uh, Wavell, is on, on a personal level. Uh, you, you played at the highest level. You've rubbed shoulders with all sorts of people, people who you maybe got a sense that they were up to no good and you removed yourself from certain situations. On a personal level, how do you feel about the latest travails uh, to fall at the feet of Mr. Samuels? Um, of course, it's quite unfortunate from a personal level. Marlon is someone that um, I have played with for many years from youth level, um, national level, Jamaican, of course, at the West Indies level. So it's quite unfortunate. Um, I don't know the details of um, the charges that are laid. I don't know um, how that will pan out. I think Marlon has a couple of days or a couple of weeks to respond. But um, being a politician to protect and defend his, his name and and come um, as soon as we can. So it's quite unfortunate, but um, that sounds like a lot of legal matters, and I am not uh, competent in that field. But I wish him all the best and hope that it works out for uh, Marlon's best interest. Marlon, yeah. thank you so much to West Indies Cricket, and I would hate to know that he's going out with this other uh, cloud over him. So I hope that it works out in his favor. Yes, yes, thank you for that. Now, the reason we sought to speak with you, Mr. President and CEO, is that you know how Caribbean fans are. And, you know, in, in a situation like this where one of their own, one of their heroes finds himself in a tough spot, they look to the authority uh, organizations and say, well, that and that organization didn't do enough to educate players and inform them about how to identify a potentially troubling situation and how to extricate themselves from such situations. In its release, WIPA made the point to make that, look, we have had these seminars since September 2014. We've collaborated with Cricket West Indies. What is the extent of that collaboration and what has been the uptake from players over time? All right, so we stated that from 2014 we started, what we do is we, we target 40 a cricket for the most part and we um, engage all six teams um, in workshops um, directly, whether it be in Trinidad or Jamaica, you know, our four-day cricket is about our own having system, so every team will have to travel to um, either Jamaica or Trinidad, and other teams will have to travel to their respective countries. And we write before to these um, franchises as they are now to set these dates long ahead of the time that they will travel, notify the players, notify team management, and we have these workshops going um, while people may think that we are a players association that deals with members, yes, we do. But these workshops are open to all members of the squad. And even if the team management wants to sit in these workshops, they are allowed because these codes that the ICC have um, goes right across the board for players and administrators. So we have an open door policy. And, and certainly we have had an other uptake of about maybe 60 to 80 percent between 2014 now. So about 80 percent of persons who participate in it and what we do in super 50 as well we do collaborate with cricket west indies and have two general workshops because most times the super 50 competition is played in two separate countries maybe trinidad and St. kids are in antigua and barbados and at the finals we played in one particular area so we do joint workshops to cricket west indies because all the players are in two different spaces at that time it's easier to just have a day for our workshops or have two days of workshops so that's other things that we do locally and of course, the, the, in those tournaments, the uptake are, are most times maybe 95% or 100 Most persons turn up there. Um, as it relates to our women cricketers, we do um, workshops when they are in their tournament, which is always held in a sort of a, a group scenario. And they are all in the same space at the same time. And we run it there. So we cover our membership or we cover the player group 
in terms of women and men. And then from an international standpoint, we are in collaboration with FICA. And of course, we are doing that on online where the information is readily available. Um, the information is there, we have all the, we have all the different things that are there. A place to tap into, they get their passwords, they get all the different things that they can go on. At their leisure, because they've been traveling, they've been training. And at their leisure, they can go on and, and access the information. Um, that uptake has been a little bit slower than what we do originally, because um, it, it, we tend to find that persons are quite busy and probably not um, off the with how to get on. But we are working on that, and it is a work in progress. Um, we are always here to support the players, we are always here to help the players, and we always try to make sure that when we do a gap analysis, we, we are trying to find different um, methodologies that will help us to, to, to close that gap and to help the players to be beneficial of yeah. what we are up. Yeah, Wavell, you said two workshops. So I'm just, I just want to be clear, is it two workshops per year that is done? No, I said two workshops yeah. that is held during our 50 over competition. Okay. So, yeah, but our, our, our workshops run throughout the first class season in terms of the four-day cricket. Right. So we run that right through from four-day cricket start in January right to the end. And okay. first, and we run that for all the teams that is coming through. And of course, what we have as well at Weeper is that we have a player development program where we have player development managers who are in charge of clusters of players. So all members of Weeper are under the auspices of a player development manager. And they have a duty of communicating and informing their their members that they have in their cluster on a consistent basis and providing information and just updating them on not just match in our anti-doping there's anti-racism there's how do you treat a contract there's life after cricket there's a whole plethora of workshops that we run to, to to develop and inform and educate and help the members to prepare themselves for their present career but also for future career Right, and with this recent incident coming to light again with Marlon Samuels, will WIPO be doing more? Can we expect to see more um, from you? to Because maybe uh, some of the players are not, it's not getting through to them, these workshops? Well, as I said before, we always do a gap analysis. We always assess where we are, and if there are other things that we can do, we will certainly do. And of course, we'll be, we'll be, we're open um, where, where that is concerned. We also have... That's sort of a gap when it comes to anti-doping. Players reporting um, as they are elite cricketers, they are expected to report um, um, to, to WADA and their respective national borders to their whereabouts. Um, every quarter, I think it starts at the 31st of March and, and it's every, every three months thereafter. So we encourage players to make sure that they are tapping to that. Sometimes players are not necessarily doing anything wrong. Yeah. But if they are not following the procedure as set out by the authorities, um, the governing authorities, then they may run themselves in trouble. So. Those are the sort of things we consistently do, and, and we are certainly going to be encourage our members to, to, to make sure that they are on top of their game. Quick, 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 quick last one before we go out, we, uh, Mr. President. We are already on borrowed time, but I, I can just imagine, I uh, put myself at one of these cricket clubs where there's a raging debate about this uh, Marlon Samuels issue, and somebody will say, well, do, do, do these workshops that WIPA stage, that, that WIPA stages or collaborates with Cricket West Indies on, are there workshops where the anti-corruption code of the ICC is brought out there to say, gentlemen and ladies, this is how not to this is how to avoid falling foul of this section, this section, and that section? Do you know enough about the content to be able to say if part of the workshop delivery is along those lines? Yes, part of the workshop delivery is along the lines of the content. As I said, we are player development managers who are of fear and are knowledgeable about those things that will go through them and present them. And as well, we have Cricket West Indies have um, in Miss Ayana Cooper who is also a favorite those things I will, I will tell them. And these things are sent um, as docu by documents via email. Um, but sometimes players are not really going to be um, wanting to read through those details. So that's why we do with FICA as well, where we do audio. So you can tap in and, and, and persons are there to, 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 to you know, give short yes. videos as to how to get through. So there are different styles and different methodologies as to how to communicate. Yes. But the onus is still on each player to, to, to put themselves in a position of the no. And we are here to support and help. And we will try to do as much as we can. But we want to take this opportunity to appeal to the players to, to read. And if you're not sure, you take up a document, you speak to your lawyer. Um, as it relates to anti doping, you speak to your doctor. And just to make sure that you're on the right path. Because as much help as you can get, please to get it. Because it's your good name that you need to protect. And of course, 
protecting the image of Western scripture. Excellent, sir. President and CEO of Whip on the Man, the Indian commentators called Vavel Hines because they can't say the W. Thank you very much, my friend. All the best to you. <laughs> Thanks to George. Thanks to your audience and your, your, your panel, of course. Good, 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 good. Marlon Samuels mm -hmm. and that issue, the re re resolution. I'm sure we'll hear about it in the weeks to come. Back with more on the Sports Mag Zone. What about some horse racing? Lance at the track in his silks.